If you want to know the best courtroom movies, you should definitely watch our picks for the best ones of the 1990s. Have we played enough games here? Your Honor, we are all searches for the truth. A man has been murdered and another man lies dead by his own hand, yet this boy remains silent. What wanton hubris is this? We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good movie again. Number 10. The Rainmaker. Honestly, Your Honor, I, I, I don't know. I, he was supposed to meet me here and, and I don't know where he is. Well, why doesn't that surprise me? The Rainmaker is a 1997 legal drama film written and directed by Francis Ford Coppola and stars Matt Damon, Claire Danes, John Voight, Mickey Rourke, and Danny DeVito. As probably the best John Grisham adaptation out there, this is one of Hollywood's most ambitious legal dramas. It is the story of good versus corrupt and honesty versus moral abyss. When a mother with a dying son can't afford any insurance coverage, lawyers of the unusual kind team up to win the case against a corrupt organization. At the lengths to which a wealthy insurance company like the defendant will go to take money from a low-income family and then keep it by denying a legitimate claim. It's no wonder they spend so much money on their lawyers. Number 9. Amistad. Give us three. Give us us free. Amistad is a historical drama film directed by Steven Spielberg and stars Morgan Freeman, Anthony Hopkins, Jimon Honsu, and Matthew McConaughey. Telling the epic yet heartbreaking story of freed slaves in the 19th century, Amistad is named after a slave ship that led to an innocent man being imprisoned in the U.S. But as their given freedom starts a heated debate, old Theodore Jotson needs allies to win the case in front of the law and finally, once and for all, gain back his freedom. Give us free. Your Honor, please instruct the defendant that he cannot disrupt these proceedings with such a... Give us us free! Number 8. The People versus Larry Flint. I have fashioned this American flag into a diaper because if you're gonna treat me like a baby, I'm gonna act like one. The People versus Larry Flint is a 1996 biographical drama film directed by Milos Forman and stars Woody Harrelson, Courtney Love, and Edward Norton. Larry Flint is a controversial pornography publisher of Hustler magazine. The movie spans about 35 years of Flint's life from his impoverished upbringing in Kentucky to his court battle with Reverend Jerry Falwell. It recounts his struggle to make an honest living publishing his magazine and how it changes into a battle to protect the freedom of speech for all people. Are you a religious man? Yeah. Okay, you believe God created man? Yeah. God created woman? Yeah. But then surely the same God created her vagina. And who are you to defy God? Just shoot her. Number seven. A Time to Kill. Oh, Helen Rourke, brilliant law student. Do with me as you will. Looking forward to it. Okay. <laughs> a Time to Kill is a 1996 crime thriller film directed by Joel Schumacher that stars Matthew McConaughey, Samuel L. Jackson, Kevin Spacey, and Sandra Bullock. After his 10-year-old daughter is raped in Canton, Mississippi by two white racists, Carl takes the law in his hands and murders her culprits. He then faces a trial and urges his attorney friend Jake Tyler to assist him in his legal case. After taking Lee's case, Jake has to fight most of his friends, including his best friend, his secretary, and his wife. You're just like all the rest of them. When you look at me, you don't see a man. You see a black man. Carly, I... I'm your friend. We ain't no friends, Jake. Number six, The Hurricane. That book is the only thing I got left in here. You understand me? That's the only chance I got to get out of here. The Hurricane is a 1999 biographical sports drama film directed by Norman Jewison and stars Denzel Washington, John Hanna, Deborah Kara Unger, and Lee Schreiber. Often considered one of the, or even the best Denzel Washington performance, The Hurricane revolves around the truly devastating story of 1966 top-ranked middleweight boxer Reuben Hurricane Carter. When wrongly convicted and charged for murder, he must take one more fight to win. But this time, it is for his freedom and innocence. We, the jury, find the defendants 
Reuben Carter, and John Artis guilty on all counts. Oh, no! 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 Number five. Sleepers. I'm an alcoholic. This is a murder case. This isn't for me. It was once. Yes, but... Uh, Before you let the drink lead. Sleepers is a 1996 legal crime drama film written and directed by Barry Levinson and stars Kevin Bacon, Jason Patrick, Brad Pitt, Robert De Niro, and Dustin Hoffman. This deep drama questions political systems and society through a story that will go down your spine and never leave. When a group of friends prank a hot dog seller with a horribly wrong end, they are sentenced to juvie, where they are systematically abused by guards, destroying their psyche and their lives forever with consequences laying ahead for decades. You've got nothing to lose, just like the rest of us. I, I don't want to be a burden to you, but I do, you know, aside or along with my alcohol problem, I have a, a, a slight drug problem. I mean, n nothing big, just go away. Number four. Primal fear. And once the charges are read, the judge is going to ask you how you plead. N not, not guilty. No. But, but I'm not guilty, Mr. Vale. I don't care. It doesn't matter. Primal Fear is a legal thriller film directed by Gregory Hoblet and stars Richard Gere, Laura Linney, John Mahoney, Francis McDormand, and Edward Norton. This story of conspiracy and betrayal begins with known law drama tropes, but leaves a mark with its legendary cast and suspenseful craft. Shady defense attorney Martin Vale only takes cases for fame and money. His newest case is just another business, but as it becomes increasingly dangerous, Vale is forced to accept that he fell down a deep rabbit hole. I speak, you do not speak. Your job is just to sit there and look innocent. Well, I am innocent. That's it. That's exactly how I want you to look. That's exactly it. Now, can you remember that? Look in the mirror if you have to. That's the look. Number three. Philadelphia. Am I being fired? Let me put it this way, Andy. Your place in the future of this firm is no longer secure. Philadelphia is a 1993 legal drama film directed by Jonathan Demme and stars Tom Hanks and Denzel Washington. Following an undeniably meaningful message to craft its themes, Philadelphia's sensitive direction forms the first Hollywood movie to inform about and tackle the social issues of AIDS. The homosexual Andrew has contracted the disease, but is afraid of the consequences when informing the people around him, especially his firm. This results in a heartfelt journey of learning to accept the truth. Didn't you have an obligation to tell your employer you had this dreaded, deadly, infectious disease? That's not the point. From the day they hired me to the day I was fired, I served my clients consistently, thoroughly, with absolute excellence. If they hadn't fired me, that's what I'd be doing today. Number two. In the name of the Father. Why are you looking at me like that? Like what? Why do you always follow me? Huh? In the Name of the Father is a 1993 biographical courtroom drama film directed by Jim Sheridan and stars Daniel Day-Lewis, Emma Thompson, and Pete Postlethwaite. In this incredibly powerful drama, we become witness of sheer injustice existing in a political system. It follows the true story of a man and his father, who are wrongly convicted for the IRA bombing in 1974, and who are taken to prison without a chance of defending themselves. Forgotten by the world, they now fight for their innocence and their well-deserved freedom. Are you doing this deliberately? No. Are you doing it deliberately? Stop it. Are you doing it deliberately? Did you call that a fucking dick, eh? Did you call that a fucking dick? Hit me harder. Hit me like. Hit me fucking harder. Hit me fucking harder. Oh, what's in your fucking life? Hit me like a real father. Stop it. Before we unveil movie number one, here are a few honorable mentions. You are discharged, sir. And I cannot begin to tell you how sorry I am that any of this has taken place. Not even the pleasure of seeing you free can make up for this, this disgrace to the cause of justice. Well, can I take the Fifth Amendment? No, you cannot. Why not? It applies to kids, doesn't it? Not in this case, Mark. You're not implicated in the death of Senator Boyette, so you'll have to answer the question. Where did it all go? The money. The money, the property, the, the personal belongings, the things one acquires in one's life, Mr. Schlickman. Number one. A few good men. Snotty little bastard. Your Honor, I'd like to ask for a recess. I'd like an answer to the question, Judge. 
The court will wait for an answer. Tom Cruise manages to knock it out of the park with his outstanding performance as Daniel Caffey in the legal drama A Few Good Men. When two U.S. Marine officers are accused of murder, they claim that they were acting under orders. The task of defending them falls on Lieutenant Daniel Caffey, an unenthusiastic military lawyer who has never seen the inside of a courtroom. Directed by Rob Reiner and released in 1992, the film stars Tom Cruise and Jack Nicholson in lead roles. Why do you like them so much? Because they stand on a wall and they say nothing's going to hurt you tonight. Not on my watch. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. If you want to know more about a particular movie in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.